Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. Welcome back. We're going to build a bedroom today and what we're going to do is level off this top piece and uh, we'll dig up these and move all of these chests and so on. Actually, we'll probably leave the chests where they are and we'll make our bedroom. I haven't quite decided on the pattern we're going to use on the floor but we'll sort of do that as we go along. First of all I went off and gathered up some spruce. You'll see that I've uh, replanted them down there. So I've got some spruce, I've got some oak, and I've got some birch. Uh, I've got some glass panes. We'll make a few more of those in a minute. I just need to make a an axe a minute. Uh, sticks. One, two. Over here. Put those down. Right. There's an axe. We'll dig these up. I want to put them somewhere a little bit different. So do this as quick as I can. I'm going to go up a layer from these. Like this. Right. So we've dug all of those up. And the layer of the bedroom, this is going to be the bedroom floor here. So We'll start off, I think we're going to have the uh, spruce, uh, sorry, the birch is going to be like this. And we'll do a diagonal pattern all the way through. Let's move those flowers out of the way. And those. We'll do a diagonal pattern like this all the way through. Uh, the edge of the floor will come out there. Um, we won't worry too much about filling it in, we can do that afterwards. So we come out like this, and there, 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 and there like that. Out here, like this. Uh, I have been over and checked the chicken a couple of times. Picked up two eggs and broke them straight away, but we didn't get anything out of them. So at the moment we still only have one chicken. So I'll move these stairs out of the way. And we want a nice big bedroom. Not quite sure how big we're going to go yet. Let's move these out like this. I don't know what happens. Oh, you can dig out from under a chest and it stays floating. That's good, so we'll do that. Remove these two and we'll collect we're running out of space let's get rid of some of these uh, the flowers one of those torches some of the glass the bone meal I was down there using that on the potatoes I've uh, accelerated their growth a little bit we'll if we get time a bit later we'll go and have a look at that but I don't think we will we're going to be quite busy doing this uh, bedroom today um, let's put down some more of this spruce. We need to find the where the center of the room is going to be. Um, that's going to be quite important. We'll dig up the crafting table and let's take out the coal from these. There and that one. And we'll put that in there like that. Put those saplings. Put some of the cobblestone. Right. Dig up four furnaces. We'll move those. We'll have a furnace room. All right. Actually, we'll we'll have a full crafting room. We'll put um, all the crafting materials and so on in the crafting room. And we'll also make a storage room. So we're going to really work on building up this base in the next few episodes. We want to make it look a bit nicer. Um, you get a bit fed up with running around. I'll move that chest later on. I won't do that right now because it's just going to make a terrible mess if I try and do it right now. Um, the size of this room, I'm not sure, we, we, I think we'll extend it out a little bit so that we've got a bit of an overhang. And I'm thinking we'll have alternating stripes coming out. So if I just remove this one a minute, we'll put our center spot as spruce. We'll have the center spot as spruce and then we'll have oak circling that. So we put spruce down there and 
that means that that on that corner and these four corners like this will be oak wood so we can put the birch back down there and we'll go and sleep so that we can do this during the daylight and we've got maximum amount of light I think that'd be better so we'll come back down here this could be our last time to sleep in our bed down here we'll be sleeping right up on top of the mountain with gorgeous views of the surrounding countryside uh, we'll come back upstairs I don't know quite how we're going to do this, how we're going to have our um, run up and down the stairs but we'll decide on that so now the next circuit oops that one should not be there that looks right out of place we'll put that one there that's better and now we want more spruce we dug up the crafting table so we'll put that one back down oops let's put him up there for a minute uh, we want some more spruce so we'll make all the spruce and we want this next ring to be spruce like this so we'll make a square coming off it's going to be spruce all the way around so that one will be spruce that one will be birch that one will be spruce there then the next circuit needs to be oak we'll make a few of them and I'll overdo it like that and this line is going to be oak like this Uh, next one out there. Break that. There, so we've got alternating pattern coming out. I think this is going to look really good. I like this. Uh, the next one is spruce again. So that comes out. Uh, we want one out there, so we'll put the birch here. Now, this is the bit that I always struggle with, and you'll see in a minute when we try and do out over the edge of the cliff over there oops that was the wrong one that one needs to be uh, spruce there like that let's jump down and gather that one up one there one there and one out there and then that one that one come into this one and to this one this one here it needs to go out onto the corner so we put that one uh, I don't really want to risk dying too much I don't like dying it's bad for my health come out here like this uh, that one goes there this is going to be oak out here and so it won't be on that one that one and then we'll put this one out here and jump up onto here like this so we've got the spruce running around the edge here and then oak is going to be out on that side put those in there that one and that one put one there that's that circuit so next we go back to the oak like this here and here that one, that one right, I want to put oak out on the edge here Can I, no, I can't go any further, see I always fall off the edge, I go a little bit too far and then I fall off the edge it's a good job that we're not trying to build a floating sky island because I think that would just end up being really messy so I will just finish off this uh, circuit around here and then we'll see how we're doing because I think this is going to be nearly big enough you know, just it's only the bedroom we're not actually building the entire house on one floor here so we don't need it to be absolutely huge uh, where are we? we want to put that like that and there and out there one here and here uh, we've already started this side so I can just come back like this one there and one there like that I'll do the same back off of here and we are going to have a bit of an overhang there that's alright 
We'll probably have to build torches up underneath, but we'll have another room underneath. Um, we may even just put our storage room directly underneath our bedroom. I think that could look pretty good. Now, is this going to be big enough? We have four. We could have balconies coming out of these. We could have a balcony on each side, or even a balcony that completely surrounds the bedroom. You know, what? I think we're actually we're going to make it one more. We're going to go for one wider, all the way round, so that the spruce is the outside circuit. So if I run around and put these like this on the outside here and then underneath we'll build I think we will have our storage room as the the room that goes underneath this I'm going to run around this side like this put these in and I can do the oop, I don't want to fall off the edge there and that's where I've got to get quite careful I can come out on this one now and I can put these out like this there and again there and on there and we come out this side here and here and now we can just fill in the edges like this and then we're going to build our walls doesn't really matter how we build the walls actually it does we're going to have I'm really not sure sort of winging this as we go I uh, haven't uh, planned the interior decoration too well so what we might do I think is we can bring up the walls just like this too high on each corner and we'll have big window panes in the middle and then I think we'll have an actual I think we'll go four high altogether so let's get some windows and we'll start putting some windows in we're gonna have the dark wood in the corners and then we'll put a door in the center of each one so we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that's the center there so we'll put a piece of birch on each side and that'll be the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this one put those two just to make markers is that right one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six yes one two three four five six ah, I did this wrong I didn't think that was right because uh, it's it should be the same all the way around so that's actually the center one there so we want to put one there and one there and this will be the same one there and one there and finally one one there and one there and I think we'll put should we put the oak doors or should we have a spruce door or a birch door we might put a different one on each side but for now we'll try a uh, yes we want a spruce door we'll try a spruce doorway here uh, we'll try a birch doorway here and actually we're not going to have them that way we want these at the inside so we want to put them facing the other way bit of a step there like that that's how we're going to do it now this one we'll come out onto the balcony here watch me fall off I'm really good at falling off, remember? I might be able to do it. Put that there like that. Uh, that one there, so we can come out. And then, birch door here. Nope, sorry. Yes, birch door. This one out this side. It's going to be a spruce door. Like that. And then finally, on this side going to put one of those so we come back this side over here like this and now we want to decide how high we're going to build the room now I'm thinking that we're going to go up four high we want it high enough that it looks good and 
And I think if we... Is that going to be too high? Uh, three... I think three is a bit too low. So we will, we will go up one more than that. We'll actually make it so that the entire room is four high. And we'll get some glass and fill in along the edges like this. Here. And fill in there like that. Do the same here. Like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish all of this off now, all the way around. And then we'll have a quick look at the end and see what we think. Okay, so I've finished. Uh, you see I've done out the floor, I've done the walls. I've also put the roof on, I've done that as a different pattern to the floor. And I've put a ladder over here. We come up the ladder, through a trap door, and onto the roof. This piece out here. Uh, I think we'll just put a couple of extra torches down here like this. Yeah, I like everything to be really well lit. And I've done one of the balconies. Uh, I haven't done all the balconies. Oops. Let's uh, not forget to shut the trap door. There we go. Um, let's come out here and you can see the balcony that I've done. The sun has just set. I've done this one as a sort of uh, wide stripe coming out. It goes from wall to wall. And we come out here. Obviously you don't want to... Um, jump down over there but the balcony does hang out over the edge we've got a good view of our mob spawner there you can even hear the skeleton being killed by the water there see out over our entire property here so I'm very pleased with this and I'm gonna put a balcony like this on each side I think so we will have one out here and um, probably put one out this side. I'm not sure actually. I may not put one out this side. I may just have the uh, steps coming down. But as I'm going to expand this property and, and make it all quite a bit bigger, chances are this will be rooms underneath. So I could stick a balcony out there. So the final step, I know we haven't actually decorated our bedroom, but we go and pick up our bed. We'll take it up here and we'll go up to our completed house and we'll put our bed down. Now I'm not really sure where we're going to put the bed. Um, it may even be that we want to replace this with a solid wall. So we've got one solid wall to sleep in. Uh, but at the moment we might put a partition in the middle here somewhere. I'm going to move those chests. So at the moment we'll put the bed down here in the middle of the room. And we may just build a small wall around so that we've got a bit of privacy for the bed. But we have got fantastic views out across the entire countryside. And it's nice and sheltered. And we can come out here and we can see everything that we want to see. Isn't that amazing? You can see all the way down, way down underneath us. I think that is incredible. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, we've got the roof. Be able to do something up there, I expect. So for now, I know I didn't decorate it, but we will get to that. We'll put a few decorations down, some tables and chairs and so on. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You're enjoying the transformation of our countryside here. And tomorrow, I think we're going to do a few of the decorations. I will finish the second greenhouse over there. I'll, I'll uh, block everything in. And do a few decorations inside here just sort of have a tidy up and we'll make a start on our storage room gonna have to make a whole load of chests and get going on the storage room which is going to be just underneath we'll put that in here and I think we'll have a ladder that travels down to the storage room we'll probably put the ladder over in the corner so that it's a bit safer We can access it nice and easily and we'll also have another room uh, another entrance or two going down underneath it and I think that will be where our bed used to be We'll turn that into the storage room. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the episode. Uh, this is Frithgar. S goodbye, and see you later.